If you're fairly new to the streets of cryptocurrency, don't worry, you're not alone. There are many people still discovering this crazy new world of crypto. Cryptocurrency has brought us new and unique techniques, innovations, and more than anything, new terminologies. And if you're new to crypto, many words will sound very strange to you. But that is what Crypto Explainer is here for, to demystify them. In the world of crypto, there are three main ways that you can obtain a cryptocurrency. You can buy them on an exchange platform like Coinbase, receive crypto as payment for goods and services, or you can mine them. In this video, we will focus on the latter, which is mining. So if you enjoy learning about these concepts, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos like these. Now, you might be thinking that mining is just physical, but don't worry, it's virtual so you can do it from the comfort of your home. We will use the most popular cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, as an example. First, a simple definition of crypto mining is the process by which new cryptocurrencies enter into circulation. However, many people make the mistake of thinking that mining is only about creating new coins. It also involves validating cryptocurrency on a blockchain network and adding the blockchain to a distributed ledger. It is the process where a lot of decentralized networks of computers worldwide verify and secure blockchains. You might have heard of the crypto terminology blockchain, a virtual ledger that keeps all records of cryptocurrency transactions. Cryptocurrency mining can be compared to traditional or physical mining. It takes a lot of digging and searching, sometimes for weeks and months, before they unearth any jewels. But since crypto mining is virtual, it uses sophisticated hardware that aims to solve an extremely complex computational math problem. It works on a first-come, first-served basis. The first computer to find the solution to the problem receives the next block of bitcoins or cryptocurrencies, and the process begins again. Like traditional mining, cryptocurrency mining is time-consuming, expensive, but rewarding. It has its appeal because after all the hard work, you are rewarded with crypto tokens. This reward at the end of the day helps motivate miners to assist in the main purpose of mining, which is to verify and monitor crypto transactions so that it remains valid. Another important job of crypto mining is that it prevents the mistake of double spending the digital currency on a distributed network. Since blockchain ledgers don't have a centralized body, mining is needed to validate transactions. This is why miners are incentivized to secure the network by participating in the transaction validation process, as it increases their chances of winning newly minted coins. So how exactly does crypto mining work? Well, to earn new cryptocurrencies, you need to be the first miner to get the right answer or the answer closest to the numeric problem. Miners need to deploy sophisticated machines that solve complex mathematical equations in the form of cryptographic hashes. Remember how we said complex mathematical problems need to be solved? Well, this isn't strictly true. The idea is to be the first person to come up with a 64-digit hexadecimal number, and this number is called a hash. As long as you can guess the number close or equal to the hash, you get the reward. So, the mining process is guesswork, and the process of guessing the correct hash is known as proof of work. When miners make these guesses, they generate as many nunces as quickly as possible. A nunce simply means number only used once, which is the key to generating the 64-digit hexadecimal number. The first miner whose nunce generates a hash that is close to or equal to the target hash, that miner gets credit for completing the block and wins the price reward. Let me use this analogy to explain how miners guess the correct hash. If I am thinking of a number between 1 and 100 and I tell three of my friends to guess the number, they don't have to get the exact number I'm thinking of. They just need to be the first to guess any number that is less than or equal to the number. But crypto mining is not just asking three people to guess between 1 and 100. It is asking millions of miners to guess a 64-digit hexadecimal number with both numbers and letters. However, there are times when there are multiple simultaneous answers that are less than or equal to the target number. When that happens, there can only be one winner. So the Bitcoin network decides by a simple majority. The winner is usually the miner who did the most work. 
In other words, the miner who verifies the most transactions. Since it is totally random, this means more hard work because the total number of possible guesses for each problem is in the trillions. Miners can guess the target hash by randomly making as many guesses as quickly as possible, and to do that, they need significant computing power. In the past, it was possible to mine crypto with your basic personal computer, but as the blockchain grew, it took much more computational power to maintain it. This is why sophisticated computers are needed to mine cryptos. As expected, this powerful computer equipment is not cheap, and many reach thousands of dollars. But to mine effectively, you need a graphics processing unit, or a better option, an application-specific integrated circuit. An ASIC is preferable because it was specifically designed to mine cryptocurrencies. Nevertheless, for the blockchain to function smoothly, processing and verifying transactions, the Bitcoin network aims to have one block produced every 10 minutes. And with millions of mining rigs all competing to solve the hash problem, they will reach a solution faster. So, to keep everything on track, Bitcoin has come up with an ingenious idea to adjust the mining difficulty after every 2016 blocks or every two weeks. Also, the difficulty of the mining process increases with every miner that joins the mining network. This just means that the more people mine, the more difficult the mining computational problem will be, so that it will keep the block production at a stable rate. Interestingly, the rewards that miners compete for when mining is reduced by half approximately every four years. For example, in 2009, when people first mined Bitcoin, Mining one block earned the miner 50 BTC. By 2012, this half to 25 BTC. And by 2016, it was divided again to 12.5 BTC. Most recently, in 2020, the reward was halved to 6.25 BTC. As of April 2022, the price of Bitcoin was around $40,000 per Bitcoin. This means that if a miner guesses the hash and completes a block, they will have earned $250,000. Not a bad motive to solve the complex hash problem if you ask me. But by 2024, it will be halved again. Bitcoin only has 21 million that will ever exist. And theoretically speaking, the final block should be mined in the year 2140. But with the high difficulty level and the expensive equipment needed to mine the hash problem, mining may not be so profitable especially if you don't have strong enough equipment or constant electricity. So to stand a better chance of guessing the hash problem first, miners have come up with what is called mining pools. These pools allow miners to combine their computational resources, increasing their chances of finding and mining blocks. If they succeed, the reward is distributed across the mining pool according to the number of resources each miner contributed to the pool. The mindset here is that something is better than nothing. Mining crypto has become more difficult, but it is still rewarding. Moreover, it will continue to create the incentive miners need to contribute their computing power to the network. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. For more videos like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.